Now let us discuss here about TCP connection management. TCP connection management mainly involves three pages or stages. First one is TCP connection establishment. Second one is data transfer. Third one is TCP connection termination. Now let us discuss all the three pages one by one. Now let us discuss about TCP connection establishment. We know that TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. TCP is a connection oriented protocol. So a connection has to be established between the client and the server before transmitting the data. So here TCP connection mainly involves three pages. The first one is TCP connection establishment. Second one is data transfer. Third one is TCP connection termination. In this video, we are going to discuss about TCP connection establishment. So how the connection will be established between the client and the server. So after establishment only, the transferring of data will take place. Here uh, TCP uses full duplex communication. We know what is full duplex. The data will be transmitted in both directions at the same time. So simultaneously data will be transferred between the both directions. Okay. Uh, here uh, for connection establishment TCP uses three way handshaking. Here we have client, here we have server. So totally we require uh, three steps. So let us see the first step. Client sends SYN segment to the server. So SYN stands for synchronization. This SYN segment specifies that I want to establish a connection with you. So that means client is sending client is sending SYN segment to the server in order to establish a connection with server. So for that uh, it has to provide some information. Uh, SCP stands for sequence number. So here the sequence number is 100. It may be any random number. So for this segment, uh, sequence number is 100. So here this is the first step. Client is sending SYN segment to the server in order to establish a connection with server. Now let us see the second step. Server acknowledges the client segment and server sends SYN segment to the client. So that means server is sending acknowledgement ACK plus SYN. So if we see here, so server is accepting that, that SYN segment. After that, server is sending SYN plus acknowledgement segments to the client mission to the client mission. So this acknowledgement is for the previous SYN segment whereas this SYN specifies that server also want to establish a connection with client. So what is the meaning of this uh, server SYN segment? I want to establish a connection with you. So if you see the information here this uh, the acknowledgement number here is 101 the acknowledgement number sent by the server is 101 so here what is the uh, client sin segment sequence number 100 so here that acknowledgement number is nothing but 100 plus 1 that is 101 so this 101 specifies that next server is expecting a segment with the sequence number 101. So if you see here, uh, here the client is receiving that those segments and after that client is providing an acknowledgement. 
so that acknowledgement specifies that i am ready to have a connection with you and it is providing information sequence number equal to 101 why because client receives acknowledgement for 101 so the next segment sequence number is 101 so here what is the sequence number 200 it may be any random number here the sequence number received by the client mission is 200 so it is providing acknowledgement for that sequence number plus 1 so 200 plus 1 is nothing but 201 so if you see here so what is the sequence number here 100 is the sequence number whereas whereas uh, server is providing this segment with the acknowledgement 101 So this is hundred. This is one out one. Next, the client is sending a sequence, a segment with the sequence number one out one. So hundred one out one one out one. So this one out one is nothing but sequence number plus one. Next, the client is sending a segment with the sequence number one out one. So likewise, if we observe this transmission also, here what is the sequence number? Two hundred is the sequence number. So next acknowledgement number is two out one. So, if server sends another segment, then the corresponding segment uh, sequence number is two not one, two not one. So, likewise, we have to proceed. So, hundred one not one one not one. So, likewise, two hundred two not one two not one. So, here we have uh, uh, three steps. So, this is first step, second step, third step. So, that's why we can call this as three-way handshaking. So, for connection establishment. TCP uses three-way handshaking. In the next video, we will see how data transfer will done as well as how the connection will be terminated. Now, let us discuss about TCP data transfer. In the last video, we have seen the TCP connection establishment. We know that the connection will be established. with the help of a three way handshake procedure so once the connection is established between the client and the server then both can transfers the data we know that uh, tcp uses uh, full duplex communication so that means both client and server can sense the data simultaneously also Uh, here uh, this part represents client this part represents server here client is sending two segments so this is segment 1 and this is segment 2 where each segment size is 1000 bytes 8001 to 9000 so segment 1 size is 1000 bytes segment 2 size is also 1000 bytes whereas server is sending one segment server is sending one segment where size of that segment is 2000 bytes so initially client is sending a segment to the server so here a uh, uh, client is sending uh, that segment data contains the bytes from 8001 to 9000 so here sequence number is nothing but uh, the first byte of the segment so here totally we have 1000 bytes from 8001 to 9000 so here what is the first byte 8001 so 8001 is the sequence number of the segment as well as client is expecting 15001 sequence number from the server so this acknowledgement 15001 specifies that client is expecting a segment where the starting byte of that segment is 15001 next client is sending another segment to the server where that segment contains data of 1000 bytes starting from 9001 to 10000 we know that sequence number means the first byte of the segment so here what is the first byte 9001 so here the sequence number is 9001 
So here also acknowledgement is 15,001 just like segment 1. So this acknowledgement 15,001 specifies that client is expecting a segment from the server where the starting byte of that segment is 15,000. 15,001. Okay. Next, server is sending a segment to the uh, client. Uh, here we are using a concept called piggybacking. Client and server, both machines are using a concept called piggybacking. Piggybacking means along with the data, along with the data, the corresponding mission is also transmitting the acknowledgement. So here this is the data along with the data the client that mission is sending acknowledgement also. So if we see this segment also so along with the data it is sending some acknowledgement. So along with the data it is sending some acknowledgement. So TCP uses a concept called piggybacking. Piggybacking means along with the data the corresponding mission may send acknowledgement for the previous frame or previous data. So here server is sending a segment to the client where the data totally contains 2000 bytes. The first byte is 15001 whereas the last byte is 17000. We know that sequence number means the first byte of the data. Here what is the first byte of the data? 15000. So 15,000, 15,001. So that is the statement here. So while sending the data, the client is sending an acknowledgement called 15,001. So this 15,001 specifies that client is expecting a segment where the first byte is 15,001. So here what is the first byte? 15,001. Here what is the sequence number? First byte is 15,001. Next it is providing acknowledgement as 10,001. So it specifies that it specifies that server is expecting a segment from the client where that segment first byte is 10001. So in this way the data will be transferred between client and server. So both client and server can sense the data. So we can say that it uses full duplex communication. Why because client is sending the data as well as server is also sending the data. In addition to the acknowledgement, server has some data to send. So it is sending the data also. So this is about uh, TCP data transfer. In the next video, we will discuss uh, another connection phase that is uh, uh, TCP connection termination. TCP connection has three pages. In the last video, we have seen the first phase that is TCP connection establishment. In this video, just we have seen the second one that is uh, TCP data transfer. In the next video, we will see the third phase that is uh, TCP connection termination. Now, let us discuss about TCP connection termination. TCP connection mainly involves three pages. The first one is TCP connection establishment. Second one is data transfer. Third one is TCP connection termination. So first a connection will be established between the client and the server and after that data will be transferred. Once the transferring of data is over then we need to close the uh, we need to terminate the connection. In this video we are going to focus on uh, TCP connection termination. Uh, we can do uh, TCP connection termination in two ways. The first approach is using a three-way handshake just like uh, TCP connection establishment. There also we will use three-way handshake. And the second approach is uh, four-way handshake. First let's see the first approach. Here this part represents client and this part represents server. So let the client has no data to send then client will send fin segment to the server so fin stands for finish so it specifies that client wants to terminate its connection with server we know that 
TCP uses full <coughs> duplex communication. So what is full duplex communication? The data will be transferred between client to server as well as from server to client. So here the client is sending fin segment to the server. So it specifies that client wants to close its connection with server. So whenever the segment is transmitted to the server, then the connection between client to two server will be terminated. So this is called as half close. So half close specifies that the connection between client to two server is closed. Next assumes that server has no data to send. Then server will also send fin segment to the client. In addition to the fin segment, it will provide acknowledgement to the previous fin segment, which is transmitted by the client. So now server receives acknowledgement as well as the fin segment. I'm sorry. Now the client receives acknowledgement and fin segment from the server. So once it receives the fin segment, then it will responses with acknowledgement segment to the server. So now the connection between client to two server is closed as well as here the server is sending fin segment to the client. So the connection between server to client is also closed, is also terminated. So this is called as three way handshake. So first client is sending fin segment to the server. So it specifies that the connection between client to server is closed. Next server is transmitting fin segment as well as acknowledgement for the previous fin segment. So this fin specifies that the connection between server to client is closed. Next the client is responding with the acknowledgement segment. Now let us see about a four way handshake. So if we three three way handshake here we have only three segments. We have only three steps. If you see here, here we have one, two, three, four segments, four steps. So first client has no data to send. So client is sending fin segment to the server. So we can call this as half close. So that means the connection between client to two server is closed. Next, let us assume that server has some data to send to the client. So server here is sending acknowledgement signal to the client. So this acknowledgement specifies that server has received fin segment from the client. But server has some data to send or server needs to perform some operations on the data it has. So that's why server is going to perform those operations. So once all those operations are over, so that means once server has no data to send, then it will send fin segment to the client. So this fin segment specifies that server has no data to send. So the connection between server to client will be terminated. Once the client receives the fin segment from the server, then it responses with acknowledgement segment. So in this way, the connection will be terminated in TCP with the help of these two approaches.